What's up guys? So today in this video I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I set up with my Echo Show 8. And last week around this time we did the unboxing video with my girlfriend and I. And since I've gotten it all set up, I've actually gotten a few Airtable integrations set up. And I also have it integrated with some of my office. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff I have found that I've been using it a lot for as well as some of the integrations that I've got and maybe even give you a little sneak peek into an Airtable integration that we that we made happen. So without further ado, if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we have business owners probably just like you, help them optimize their information system. So that's some stuff like Airtable, Asana, Slack, as well as Zapier and Integromat to connect all the systems together. So if you're interested in services, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. Without further ado, we'll get into the video. So you might be wondering why it's dark in here, and there's a reason why it's dark in here. Usually I have like this light on, um, just to make it a little bit lighter for you guys. But it is currently dark in here because the first thing that I wanted to show you is my one of my favorite i didn't know this was possible when i got the echo show i got it as a gift but i didn't know it was possible when i first set it up so i'm gonna take the webcam off the echo show is right here um and as you can see it's like red in the background so i have like a uh, go sun uh it's g-o-s-u-n-d it's uh led strips like under the desk so we'll see if you can see it there so like i have those all set up down under the desk and we also got nacho down there i don't know if you can see him or not um but what i wanted to show you was one of the cool things about the go sound is i actually had it set up with my phone so i could just like if i was out in the in my bedroom i could control the lights from my phone but now in here i can just say alexa turn the desk lights blue okay yeah, so I can change the desk lights, uh, the LEDs, by just talking to Alexa, which I think is kind of out of this world, like extraordinary. I think it's really cool. Uh, maybe you can see Nacho better now. It has blue lights in here, but there's Nacho. He's we're, he's chilling in here, uh, just doing burning some midnight oil, getting some work done. Um, but that was the first thing that I wanted to show you. The second thing that I wanted to show you was what I use Alexa the most for. So what I really like about it is it, this the Echo Show has like a screen on it. And so while I have my whole setup here with like the dual screens, I have like the, the Mac and then the HP all synced up together. But I don't, especially like wearing out the Mac speakers because I don't know how long they're gonna last. But this thing has like a pretty nice little sub in it and I can actually hear pretty well anywhere in either of these rooms by just running YouTube off of that. So what I've found is that I can just say, hey Alexa, open YouTube. Here is YouTube. And what I can do is then I can just It'll pull up like some of my most recent stuff. So I like to sleep with ocean waves. So I've played that at night, but like me and my girlfriend really like country music. So earlier I was listening to Joe Polish uh, and some other times I'll listen to music uh, or just like whatever I want to listen to while I work. It's really easy to set that up on the Alexa and then not, and then I can use my speakers on my computer for other purposes. Mm -hmm. So, Alexa will go away there, but also I can just say Alexa search country music on YouTube and Searching YouTube. then it, like Alexa will go search YouTube so I can use uh, the Alexa just right here for that. So there's a few country playlists that popped up, but I'm not going to click on any of them. I don't know if you can even see it or not, uh, but there's, I assure you there's country playlists there. So those are the first two things that I wanted to go through. The last thing that I wanted to go through is a, one of the first Airtable integrations with Alexa. And so this is just like, we're really testing some stuff out here, uh, getting it set up. Uh, but this is, these are, in the future, these will be a lot more robust. Um, but the, these are some of the first Airtable integrations on my Alexa in my office. So I'm gonna show you those now.
All right, so the first one that I'm going to show you is a draw a random card function. So this won't be advertised necessarily so much in the YouTube video, but uh, if you're watching this, you get the benefit of learning some of the stuff you can do with uh, Alexa, Airtable. Um, I might show you a YouTube one as well, but um, we'll, we'll get right at you. Alexa, open draw a random card, please. Welcome to Airtable Voice Draw a Random Person Contest using Airtable Voice. When you would like a random person say, draw a random person. Draw a random person. As you wish a random person, Lily, to add randomness to Airtable bases use the voice with Airtable random block to select a contest winner, dice roll, or with a deck of playing cards. When you're ready say, draw a random person. Draw a random person. As you wish a random person, Evelyn, to add randomness to Airtable bases use the voice with Airtable random block to select a contest winner, dice roll, or with a deck of playing cards. When you're ready say, draw a random person. Draw a random person. A random person, Owen, to add randomness to Airtable bases use the voice with Airtable random block to select a contest winner dice roll, or with a deck of playing cards. When you're ready, say, draw a random person. Alexa, off. Okay, this session is now ending. Yeah, so that's some of the cool things that we've started to do with Airtable and voice. Now that's set up from a company called Enabled. They set all that up for me. Um, but that's just one of the many use cases that was just to draw a random card. So I can quickly show you where that is in Airtable because you might like see the display on there, but you might not realize, is that actually an Airtable? Um, and I assure you it is. And I'll see if I can pull up that base right now. But that's just one of the really cool things that, these are some of the really cool things that I've been learning to do with Alexa, with voice this week. Uh, Alexa, no. Um, every time you say her name, she pops up and listens to you, which is fun. It's interesting. But you can't, there's a button you can press on it to make her stop listening, which I think is even more interesting on whether or not she's listening. You know? Um, but I will, I don't know that I'm going to be able to pick out the exact base that all of this stuff is in, but there will be many more videos in many more weeks where I go through live demos of me inputting records into Airtable with voice, looking up records and like having Alexa display them on the screen with voice, Alexa no, um, as well as, um, let's see, editing records, like updating records with voice. So I'm super stoked to get into a lot more of those, but I really hope you enjoyed this, this video. I know it's a little bit different than I normally do because I'm You've seen me a little bit closer here and you get to see Alexa and a little bit more of Nacho as well. So if you didn't see the last video and you want to go see the unboxing of the Alexa, the Echo Show 8, uh, you can go click the end screen right here and you can go watch the whole unboxing. I, you get to my, meet my girlfriend. That's the only time my girlfriend's been on the channel. So if you want to go do that, you can check out this end screen right here and go see the unboxing. Uh, made some mistakes didn't know what some stuff was, learned all from it, and so we're getting better in each video. So I hope you enjoyed this, and go click that end screen right there, and have a great day.